In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, in accordance with the riches of God's grace, Ephesians 1 verse 7. During the 33 years he lived on earth, Jesus' every thought was pure. Every word he spoke was true. His every deed was just and loving, Hebrews 4 verse 15. This is not surprising. Jesus lived on earth the way he has throughout eternity. He has always been holy, and he always will be. What is astonishing is that he traded his goodness for your sin, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21, and suffered the death you deserved. The blameless one publicly shamed, tortured, and executed as a criminal. When you were dead in your sins, God made you alive with Christ. He forgave us all our sins. Having cancelled the charge, which stood against us and condemned us, he has taken it away, nailing it to the cross. And having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. From Colossians 2 verses 13 to 15. Jesus overcame the power of sin and death when he rose victorious from the grave. Satan no longer has any claim on you. He will relentlessly accuse you, shaming you with all your sins and failures in an attempt to dishearten and immobilize you. But he is no longer your master. You don't have to listen to him. Listen to the one true and living God, who says that Jesus already paid for those sins. They are gone. You may feel shameful and dirty, but you are washed and clean, fully reconciled to God. Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word, and to present her to himself as a radiant church, without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish, but holy and blameless, Ephesians 5 25b, 27. You were taught, with regard to your former way of life, to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds, and to put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness, Ephesians 4 verses 22 to 24. When Jesus traded you for your sin, what you received in exchange was his good life. The old you was crucified, Romans 6 verse 6. You now have a new life in Christ. Throw off the filthy rags of your old life and walk in freedom and joy, clothed in the righteousness of Christ. You may feel weighed down by your past, but the truth is that you have been given a clean slate, a fresh start. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17.